In this video, I will be explaining how a robot achieves 704 points in 2 minutes and 30 seconds. To begin, we have our base robot. This robot uses NXT and has a low profile. To get this low profile, we take advantage of the NXT motors. Flipping them upside down allows you to get extremely low to the ground, but you cannot do this on the new EV3. The robot has two light sensors in the front of the robot, allowing line following and lining up in lines to get it more accurate. Lastly, it has one motor on top for powering attachments. The first run is our alarm run, completing almost all missions on the east end of the table. The attachment comes on and off very easily, just like this. Firstly, we tackle the sports mission. It is a pin with an elastic band on the end. This is held in place by another rack and pinion design pin. Next is the robotics competition. After a lot of experimentation, we notice that there is an angle and three holes at the back of the key. This allows us to push the key in and leave it behind. An arm then collects the loop. Once that's finished, we do two actions. Pick the loop from the right senses mission and lift the basket. We stop following the line at the black line at the end of the green line, which is the perfect distance for the attachment. This mechanism then flicks up and pushed in. At the same time, the basket is being lifted. It is then left on top of the robot out of the way. Then the remote learning is activated. Thinking outside the box is done next. The box is pushed over, rotated, and then a rubber finger pulls the box back, allowing the bulb to slide out. This is done in two movements, forward and backward. That's it. The community learning missions loop is then pulled out. Finally, in getting home, an elastic device pulls the adapting to changing conditions mission out of the robot's way. One quick attachment change and we have our second attachment. It drives along the side and then an arm flicks around and pushes down the engagement. As this happens, a gate folds down behind the cloud access and pulls back. On its way back, it gets an 180 degree turn on the engagement model. The third run's attachment has two parts that separate. The first part is solely for the search engine mission. It drives out and a mechanism on the left pushes in the lever, like so. We noticed that if the lever is pushed slowly enough, you can guess where it'll be, exactly in the same place as the beginning. For the fourth run, the attachment separates and the loop from the previous mission is added to the other loops. The door is opened using a pipe. The pipe bends and when the robot pulls back, it applies a downwards force on the lever, opening the door. The robot then drives up to the project-based learning mission and drops the six loops. This is done with the pull of a pin. The apprenticeship mission is also completed. The last mission is to get as many possible turns of the engagement as possible. We get 18 90 degree turns of the engagement if everything goes right. An arm then pulls the big arm up and down. This is our fifth year in FLL, and our advice would be to test, like, a lot. So much, that even when you think it's perfect, still try and improve it, and account for anything like border wall size, lighting conditions, variation in the size of the mat, etc. Also try using a master program, so you don't have to be searching for programs. But most of all, have fun.